Yes, it's very good news. The contracts uh, have been confirmed this morning and uh, what I'm pleased about the uh, several aspects of it that it's a huge boost to the local economy. There'll be a hundred apprenticeships in the construction of the prison facility and also local companies within a 50 mile radius of Exxon will be guaranteed about 50 million pounds worth of business on that construction. That's a huge opportunity for businesses and hopefully the uh, local companies will submit their bids when they go through the tendering process. There are over 250 uh, uh, companies from the region that attended our event back in February and uh, no one was refused access to it, although one or two companies came in afterwards and we've been directing them and telling them how to go about getting on that particular list. They are also as well that under construction there will be 600 people working on the site and each one of them is given a one day in volunteering across Wrexham and the community. That's 600 days of volunteering which will benefit the people of Wrexham. Once the prison is constructed and operational, the annually to the local economy, it's been estimated around £23 million will be brought annually into, here into Wrexham. It could have a boost as well to the local housing markets uh, because people will want to live closely uh, to the facility and if there are other aspects, they'll be spending their money, hopefully in Wrexham Town Centre, and uh, everyone there can see the benefits of having this facility here in Wrexham. Last week they attended a meeting I went to it down at uh, Park Prison near Bridge End, which has been further extensions being built there, and that prison will uh, hold about 1,800 prisoners, prisoners when full. One thing I've been impressed about is the opportunity that's there for prisoners, because it's, we're very keen on the rehabilitation of offenders and we can work with prisoners because we don't want people to continue to reoffend. We can work with them, the local authority, our partners uh, within the public sector in Wrexham, that's got to be a benefit to all. I mean, if you look back over the, uh, over the last 100, 200 years in, in the historical cities of, uh, of England and in South Wales as well, the capital Cardiff, Cardiff's had a prison for a long, long time, York, Durham. It hasn't had a negative impact there at all on investments or people wanting to visit for the historical history of uh, those two uh, those two cities in the in the north of England. And I think there's an opportunity for us to, in Wrexham to build on this progress.